Well, with us now is Ben Phillips, the director of policy for Oxfam. Um, if these Palestinians are being well paid and being paid the same as their Israeli uh, compatriots, or sorry, their Israeli colleagues, uh, what's wrong? Our criticism is not of SodaStream's uh, labour conditions. The issue is, is that factory doesn't belong to Israel. It doesn't belong to SodaStream. It belongs to the people who own that land, who were thrown off that land in order that settlements can be built. This isn't about soda and it's not about celebrities. It's about settlements. The settlements impoverish the Palestinians. And if I said to you, Jeremy, that I've taken your house, but now you can have a job, and it, now I've turned it into a hotel as a porter, that wouldn't be enough. So the issue is settlements. Settlements hurt Palestinians. So if this factory were inside Israel, there would be no problem for you? Oxfam doesn't support a boycott against Israel. We've been very, very clear about that. This factory and the settlements are not in Israel. That's the position of international law, and the settlements hurt Palestinians. So if it was inside pre-67 borders, Israeli borders, you wouldn't have a problem? We've never called for a boycott of Israel. You're not quite answering the question. There would be no problem. There would be no issue. So what could SodaStream do to comply with your, to meet your objection? They could fulfil international law and not be in illegal settlements, not be in someone else's territory. So they have to shut the factory down? If you meet the people that live outside of the settlements, the people that are close to the settlements, they can't get permits for building. They can be thrown out of their homes. 100 people uh, had their homes uh, taken away from their homes last month, just last month. So the settlements are hurting people across well, the West that's Bank. That's not SodaStream's business taking away people's homes, is it? We're not uh, here to criticise SodaStream. We're here to focus right. on the settlements but and the it's harm Soda that they Stream do. that's brought this to a head, as you know. Uh, so there is really nothing that SodaStream could do to meet your objections, bar shutting down the factory and locating somewhere else. They should not be in the settlements, which are illegal. Okay. Uh, no company should be in the settlements, which are illegal. In fact, the settlements uh, need to go because they hurt Palestinians, they impoverish them, they make it hard to get access to water, to land, to housing. It's damaging for the Palestinian people. I wonder if you have any qualms at all about what seems to some people to be the bullying of Scarlett Johansson. I think Scarlett Johansson did excellent work for Oxfam. I have absolutely no criticism of Scarlett Johansson. Why couldn't she continue being an Oxfam representative then and do her commercials for SodaStream? Scarlett Johansson resigned from Oxfam. Uh, Oxfam's made its position very clear on settlements. The settlements hurt Palestinian people. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Well, to respond to that is Daniel Birnbaum, the CEO of SodaStream. He's in Tel Aviv now. Can you hear me, Mr. Birnbaum? I can, Jeremy. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, how much did you pay Scarlett Johansson for this ad as a matter of interest? It's not about money, and we don't disclose the commercial terms that we have with Scarlett. I can tell you that her decision has not been financially motivated, but rather humanitarian uh, driven, because she cares, she truly cares about people and uh, about bringing peace to the region in the Middle East and doing so within a two-state uh, solution. How do you feel about being part of the occupation of territories seized from another country? Well, what I'm doing at SodaStream in the factory of Mishor Dumim is occupying Palestinians side by side with Israelis. It's not a settlement, it's a factory. In fact, we are part of the Palestinian economy and possibly part of the future, the seeds of the future Palestinian state. We are not financing the settlement economy. We are giving equal rights, equal wages, equal benefits and equal opportunity to Palestinians. But you we're have proud about what we're doing sure. in this factory. But you have taken a political position in choosing to operate this factory inside the occupied territories. You accept that at least. No, I inherited this factory. It's been there for 17 years, and it's operating under the agreement of the Palestinians themselves. And this is an inconvenient truth that many people forget. According to the Oslo Accord of 1993, the Palestinians themselves agreed that Area C, and this factory is located in Area C of the West Bank, will be operated under the Israeli administration until the final borders will be drawn. 
and that is how we are operating. And that's a good thing for the Palestinians who work for me because we're paying them Israeli wages, which is about four times more than what they would earn in the Palestinian Authority if they were lucky enough to even have a job because the unemployment there is between 30 and 40 percent. Well, you've just accepted the Oxfam position that you are operating an enterprise within the occupied territories. Of course we're operating right. an enterprise within the occupied territories, but my dilemma is, should I throw 1,300 people into unemployment and poverty? Uh, we are feeding 5,000 Palestinians in this factory. We employ 500, each one feeds 10. So 5,000 people have health insurance and food on their table because of us, and it's completely cynical and ironic that Oxfam, a human rights organization whom I used to admire tremendously, by the way, are the ones who are telling me to throw these people into poverty, into unemployment. It just, I can't understand how throwing 1,300 people into unemployment will promote peace. Okay, let, well, let me just start. The Oxfam gentleman is still here. Can you explain that? You cannot claim that the settlements are a Palestinian employment program. The settlements They're impoverish people. The they settlements are. impoverish people. The figures that have been cited about 30% unemployment. Why is that? Is that perhaps because there are roadblocks every half hour? Is that because it's impossible for a Palestinian to establish their own factory because they cannot get permits in areas that are close to settlements? Okay, let's is that talk because about the Palestinian olive oil industry is collapsing because of the settlements? Okay, this right, is there, are, there, may, there may be many things going on, many imponderables, but we're talking about this one concern, this one factory, which, as you have heard and as you well know, employs Palestinians and you want to see them chucked out do you? We want to see that land returned to the people that were thrown off that land. So you do? We want to see the return of the land yes. Would you like to see that factory cease to employ Palestinians on that site? You could imagine a new scenario in which a Palestinian company... We can company, imagine all sorts of things. Palestinian we can imagine company, the world's made of green And they could have cheese. an arrangement with... Sobestream. What do you want? We want the settlements to end because we've seen the damage that's right. caused so you and want this the factory shut down cannot be supported you want this factory shut down you can't operate factories and settlements and then no, say that the settlements are wrong do you want this factory shut down or not we want no factories in the settlements because the settlements are illegal right. okay there you are that's unambiguous mr bamba I can tell you that Senator George Mitchell, who brokered peace in Northern Ireland, you're very aware of his work. Uh, he was commissioned by President Obama to broker peace in the Middle East, visited SodaStream, and said that we are a glimmer of cooperation between Palestinians and Israelis. There's not a lot of glimmers of light in this part of the world. You do not shut them down. You do not go back to darkness okay. if you can celebrate the light. This factory is a right. dream for activists and for politicians because we're proving that there can be peace in the Middle East. Right. I invite okay. the Oxfam folks, Mr. Phillips, and they can all come and see it before they shut it down. Okay, thank you all very much. Thank you both very much.